Welcome to 10 Minute Pilates for the Upper Body. So today we're focusing on posture because we often a lot of time on our phone or on our laptop kind of hunched over. So we're going to focus on opening out the chest and working the muscles that kind of move your arms and shoulders. So you're going to come down onto your back. You want a cushion or a block for later. So come onto your back, have your feet hip width apart. Lay yourself down. Draw your belly button in towards the spine. Pull up your pelvic floor muscles. And the arms down beside you. Inhale, shrug the shoulders around the ears. Squeeze and hold for a few seconds. Squeeze even tighter, tighter, tighter. And as you exhale, slide the shoulders down. Now keeping your perfect posture. And inhale, reach the arms overhead. And exhale, circle out, down and around. As you're doing that, you want to make sure you keep the arms straight for one, no bending the elbows, no matter how close they do or don't come to the floor. Stretch your fingers, squeeze your fingertips together. Keep inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And go at quite a dynamic pace, so go a little bit quicker. And keep your back ribs pressed to the mat. There's no arching through the back. Breathing in and out, in and out. We've got four, three, two, one, and then we change directions. Inhale, circle around and up. Exhale, really press down as if you're working through water. Go slow to start with, or slow air. So the palms turn up as you sweep the arms up and overhead, then you press the palms and then you push down into the floor as you bring the hands down. So turn the hands, palms up, now circle around and up, exhale, press down, breathing in and out, then going a little bit quicker. So just because we're going quicker doesn't mean that we're kind of throwing the body around, this means we're moving dynamically. Keep pressing the shoulder blades into the mat. And keeping your perfect posture so nothing else moves. Three, two, one. Raise the arms up. Turn the hands so the palms are facing each other. And bend in the elbows so your elbows are in line with your shoulders. Press your shoulder blades down into the floor so the arms are at a right angle. Breathe in. As you breathe out, imagine pressing the arms into the mat. Now, if you can get the backs of the hands to touch, great. My right hand does, my left hand does it. And inhale, imagine squeezing the forearms together, but make sure the elbows don't drop so the elbows stay in line with the shoulders. So exhale, open, press into the mat, hold for a second, and inhale, close. And as you press down, and keep pressing your back ribs into the floor. So your posture remains the same. And then add an overhead reach. Exhale, open the arms out. And then extend the arms above your head without tensing your shoulders. And exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together so the elbows bend because you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. And inhale, bring the arms up and make sure your elbows are in line with your shoulders, they're not down here somewhere. Exhale, open, squeeze the arms into the floor. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead, reaching for the fingertips. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Feel that movement on the mat, back of the mat. And inhale, bring the arms together. Exhale, open. Inhale, stretch your fingertips. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, close. You do that twice more. One of the benefits of doing it on the floor is that you can notice if you're arching your back. So you want to keep your back grips into the mat. Yeah, relax. The arms come onto one side. Grab your cushion. You're going to bring your underneath arm out in front of you. And that push is not quite full up. You want your head in line with your spine. Your knees are in front. Stretch that top groin. Notice how my hips collapsed here. 
stretch that top hip away. So you're creating a gap underneath. Now bring that top hand on top of your fourth one. You breathe in. As you breathe out, you're going to open that arm out. Keeping your pelvis totally still. You're going to pull it with your eye gaze. Pause for a second. And inhale as you close. And what often tends to happen is people roll back their pelvis. So you're going to keep your lower body totally, totally still. And just moving through the upper body. Then closing. So it's not a competition to see how far you go. Keep stretching that top hip away. Keep the abs braced. And move slowly. Feel that movement in the upper body. Inhaling as you close. So it's like a spinal twist. But we're focusing more on the upper back and shoulders. Holding it for a second. Gently squeeze your knees together. If you have an issue keeping your legs still, place a cushion between your knees and squeeze that cushion to encourage you to keep your lower body still. So the pelvis stays totally still, even if that means that that arm doesn't go very far. So it's not about how far the arm goes. We've got two more, so it's slow and controlled, we're going to stretch in through the fingertips, following it with the eye gaze, holding it for a second, and as you come back, one more, again, keep lifting your ribs away from the floor, and it should feel quite nice on your back as well. When you release that side, you can do the other side, you can just switch straight away. Oh, I do Stop. hate it when that happens. When you do, eh? Oh, good old YouTube, eh? For uh, adverts. <laughs> so push it under your head. Arm out in front. Knees at right angles. Stretch that top hip away. So you're lifting your ribs away from the floor. Top hand on top of the bottom hand. Breathe in. Breathe out, opening nice and slow and controlled. So this arm doesn't move as far as the other side, that's okay. And keeping your knees pressed together the whole time. So your knees should not move, not even a millimeter. And keep squeezing the belly button in towards the spine. Notice that you get a little bit more movement each time as those muscles start to open up. Again, it's not a competition. It's about keeping the rest of the body nice and stabilized. So keep squeezing the belly button in. So noticing how one side feels compared to the other. Just one more here, then stretch that top hip away, make sure that hip hasn't collapsed. Very so come back onto your back, either with or without a cushion. And just take a moment here, relax your shoulders, notice how they feel, notice if one side feels like higher than the other, or if they feel quite equal. It's also good to spend a few minutes on your back in this position because the muscles alongside the spine can relax. So if you can spend at least a couple of minutes here before you go about the rest of your day. And when you are ready to come up, come up with mindfulness. Don't just like wing up, you know, roll off to one side or roll yourself up with control. Awesome. Well done!